It's good to see everybody back here. You have come to the right place. This is the Ukulele Dad show. We're glad you can make it. Yeah, that's me, Ukulele Dad. You can tell there in the back of the... <laughs> but, um, and thank you so much for coming and we appreciate your support for this program. And um, we've got several songs we're gonna play today, um, mainly to kind of finish out some of our holidays here in the month of February. Yeah, it's gone pretty fast, February, wouldn't you say? But we've been celebrating President's Day, Black History Month, as well as Valentine's Day. These are some of the days that we've been celebrating this month. So yes, many things to do. Um, and recently we celebrated National Tortilla Chip Day. So hopefully you got a tortilla. <laughs> tortilla chip. And aloha to our friend Turtle Cat. Always glad to have you on the program. Let me see, friends. Um, I want to first start off with this song for President's Day, written by Erling Berlin and sung by Kate Smith, everyone. So here we go. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us swear allegiance to a land that's free. Let us all be grateful for a land so fair. As we raise our voices in a solemn prayer, God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her. of America. Let me see, I do have a thought I want to share with you here. So get ready to do your stretching and breathing, everybody. We'll be going into that in a minute. But I wanted to share this. It just really gave me a lot of hope. I heard the um, 
new sheriff of Los Angeles County. I live in Los Angeles County. And his name is Robert Luna. And we actually knew Sheriff Luna because he was the police chief here in the city of Long Beach. That is where I was born. I now live in Lakewood, which is just north of Long Beach, but we still work a lot with the city. But um, yep, he was asked um, what were some of the things that helped him to deal with his stressful job as a sheriff. Yeah. So this is interesting. He said faith, his faith his family and fitness help him to deal with stress. Very interesting. And then just to hear him talk, um, he truly is what I view as an aloha leader because um, he said, yeah, um, there was a recent shooting and killing of a Catholic priest here in Los Angeles County. Very, very sad because again, this was a priest that tried to help people and help others, but um, uh, they were showing on the news, um, the, one of the other priests was basically uh, discussing the situation and he started to cry. And then Sheriff Luna reached over him like this and he hugged him and he just said a few encouraging words to him in his ear. Amazing friends, again, the, the sheriff did that. So he was just explaining, well, the reason I did that was um, I just believe, you know, because of my faith and, you know, the things I believe that we need to show some love to people. So again, friends, imagine that. It is just amazing. So I would, again, recognize Sheriff Luna as an aloha leader. Yep, because that's very, very important. And and we'll wish him the best because to be the sheriff in Los Angeles County is rough. It's a rough situation there. All right, everybody. Now we're going to do another song in recognition of Black History Month, but let us share the following thoughts with you. So I think this is kind of the concluding thoughts for our topic we've been discussing the last few weeks, which is related to prevention or preventing an addiction is what we've talked about and understanding yourself and understanding what could entice you into addictive behavior. So again, think about these words and do your stretching everyone and then do your breathing through the stomach there. Yep, and Turtle Cat's got the, um, the ukulele dad uh, icon up there, but yeah. Lila Dad is stretching. <laughs> I think that's why. So everybody relieve your stress. Do some stretching and breathing as I share the following. Well, we've been talking about education, educating ourselves about what is addictive and what effect it can have on you. We've also talked about moderation, setting limits on your behavior. And we've talked about connection, connecting with other humans. Yeah, it helps you to become more resilient. And again, I refer one more time to what we consider something that could be addictive. It could be alcohol, drugs, pornography, tobacco, food, technology, and even gambling. Yep, even chocolate can be addictive. <laughs> yeah, for some. But, um, these are the final two thoughts I wanted to share on this topic. Um, the first is related to transparency. Be honest, avoid lying and deceiving and justifying. Transparency prevents addictive behavior. So friends, again, talk to other humans, talk to people. And we've got up here in our chat, the calhope.org live chat, as well as the 833 number. The 415 number is also posted here in the chat. And as I said, if you feel you're going to harm yourself or others, call 988. Forget the other numbers and just call 988, everyone, the lifeline. So next is monitoring. So if those of you that are parents, ask yourself, who are the friends of your children? What activities do they participate in? Then you can ask the same thing about your family members and friends. but set rules about addictions and have regular conversations. But 
Friends, I hope all of that will help you. We'll move on to another topic here next week. But again, these uh, topics are provided for you because we truly want everybody to be well out there. We're concerned about your self-care and your wellness, everybody. Evident during the pandemic, because said, wow, people were just panicking. It was, it was amazing. So again, do what you need to do to be safe, especially mentally and emotionally. Now, this next song is called Lift Every Voice and Sing. This is recognized as the, the official anthem of the African-American community. And so I wanted to share this for you for Black History Month. But yeah, take some time to think about the lyrics. And again, we can march on to victory, everyone. We can do it. OK, so here we go. <laughs> the opportunity to sing this most important song. Well, friends, I know all of you have your ukulele ready to go. <laughs> but get out your ukulele, everyone, and we're going to play some music together. Now, some of you know that um, we do have an in-person concert. We've broadcasted on Twitch a few times. Um, but we like to do this at the Ohana Hawaiian Barbecue in the city of Lakewood, California. So if you're around on the first or second Thursday of the month, please come down to the Ohana Hawaiian Barbecue and we will eat some food and play some music for you. But the good news is the third Tuesday of every month from now on, we will be offering Lesona ukulele, which means in the Samoan language, ukulele class. Yeah, <laughs> we're going to offer a class there at the Ohana Hawaiian Barbecue on the third Tuesday, starting at 6 p.m. Pacific time. So everybody, 
come on down, bring your instrument. If you don't have one, we'll have a few for you that you can borrow. Okay. <laughs> but we look forward to seeing you. Now, we've got a few chords to learn today, but luckily not as much as we normally do, because <laughs> the first three I'm going to teach you right now are for the first song, and then we have one more for the second song. So good job. But we are going to learn this land is your land. We've done this before. It is um, in the Ukulele Tama or the Ukulele Dad uh, Facebook page. And you can find the music there, everybody. And I also have up here in the um, chat, you can click on there and, and get the music for this class. But we're going to learn some chords. Chords are where we put our fingers on the instrument. So you can see here, this is known as the C chord, and we have string one on the ukulele, also known as the G chord, string two, known as the C chord, string three, known as the E string, and string four, known as the A string. I kept saying chord, but I meant to say string. <laughs> so string one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four are known as the frets, this is the sections of the ukulele where you put your finger. So we're going to put our third finger on string four, fret number three. So let us demonstrate that. So again, fingers one, two, three, and four. Strum with the right side. Third finger goes on string four, fret number three. Let's play it. I usually strum with my thumb. You can use your thumb or several fingers in your hand. Good. Well, I have bad news. You just played the ukulele, everybody. <laughs> okay. Next, we have the F chord. So this is a little harder because we use two fingers. So notice that we have our first finger is on string three, and our second finger is on string one, fret one and fret two. Okay, everybody. So this is the F chord. First finger is on string three, second finger is on string one, the F chord, and then get ready to put the third finger down for the C. Five, six, here we go. F. Good. Get ready to put the third finger down. Third finger, go. C. Good. We've got one more chord, and then we're going to play this song for you. This is probably the hardest one. <laughs> Known as the G7 chord. First finger is on string three. Second finger is on string two. And third finger is on string four, fret one and fret two. It looks like a triangle, doesn't it? So that's what I call this, the triangle chord, OK? So first finger on string three. Second on string two, third on string four. Triangle. Good. Play the C chord with the third finger. Go. Good. Get ready to play the F. The F chord. Go. Good. All right, everybody. You did it. So those are the three chords we need for this song. F, and then C, and then G7, and then back to C. So that's pretty much your song. So this song is again called This Land is Your Land, written by Woody Guthrie. So Woody Guthrie was a contemporary of Kate Smith, who sang God Bless America. Well, he didn't like her too much. But anyway, I think they learned to get along later. So, <laughs> so this is the song that he wrote, everybody. Here we go. So we go, we have a pause, and then we go, this land is your land, with the F and then the C, okay? F, C, and G7. All right, everybody, here we go. This land is your land. This land is my land, see, from California, G7, to the New York Island, see, from the Redwood Forest, F, to the Gulf Stream waters, good. This land was made for you and me, good, as I was walking. 
song and we've got only one more for you to do and you will be an expert <laughs> but good job well the second song is a little harder so i want to do part of it today and we'll pick up the rest next time i'm going to make a note for myself not to forget <laughs> but this song is called the lava song and again it's in it is in the uh, ukulele dad facebook group and we've got the the um, link up there that you will find the, the music for the lava song. So this is kind of a longer song, so that's why we're just going to do part of it today. Okay, everybody? Now, let me see here. Let's see what we've got here. My music is falling down. <laughs> okay, come on, music. All right, so we've got C is in this song, yeah. So we learn C. And then we've also learned F. Yeah, you know that. We also have the G7 chord, okay? So so C, G7, and F, we also have the C7 chord, okay? So let me show you the C7. All right, so the C7, our first finger is on string four, fret number one. So that's that's not as hard as some of the others. So there we go. So C7, five, six, here we go. C7. Good. Now, we have a few others that... It's interesting, I forgot them. <laughs> hey, you never do anything like that, right? <laughs> so, let me make a note here. Got to write this down. This is part one, okay, of our class. <laughs> but some of the other chords that we have here, we have the D, the D7, and the G. So let me give you an introduction to those, and then we will play a little bit of this song today, but we need more time, see? So let me see, I said we have the D, the D7, and the G. Okay, here's D and D7, okay? And this is what happens when I forget, I've got to go back here to the book. <laughs> I'm sure none of you ever forget anything, right? <laughs> Okay, so D, D7, and G. Now, let me first show you G, because you've already learned G7, okay? Remember, G7 is the triangle, okay? So what the G is, it is the upside-down triangle. Can you see that? Yeah. So see the G, 
and the G7. G is just the upside down triangle. Okay, so let's try it. Play your triangle, G7. So first, second, and third. Then to play the G, we just go upside down. So we go first, first finger on string two, second is on string four, and third string three. So we have G7, and then upside down. G7, and upside down. Okay, so that is the G. You got that. But the next two are a little harder. Okay, <laughs> okay. so. The first one is the D chord. So what's unique about D, we put our second finger across strings one, two, and three. So second finger only, you don't put it on string four, okay? So let me show you. Second finger is on string one, two, and three. Don't put it on four. There's D. All right. Now, let me show you D7. Here on D7, we use the first finger goes all the way across fret two, and the second finger is on fret three. So let me show you what that looks like. First finger, and then second finger, D7. But notice it is very similar to the D, right? Yeah, very similar. So, so let me see here. And we actually do play D and D7 together. So let me show you what you do. So again, we're using the second finger on D. Then put it all the way across and then you have D7. So D all the way across and D7. D, D7. Hey, hey, pretty tricky, huh? But if you don't like that one, here's the simple D7. First finger is on string one and second is on string three. So here's the complicated D7. Here's the simple D7. So whichever you want, one you want to use is good. All right. Now, there's one other complicated part of this song. And like I said, I'll just do, well, let me just do the first verse here, OK? So the other part, complicated part of this song is the way you strum. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. One strum is one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we go from G to D, two, three, four, five, six, D, two, three, four, five, six, and then C. C, two, four, five, six, C, three, four, five, six, and then G, two, three, four, five, six, and then D. So you can see it's kind of complicated. <laughs> But that's what you can work on. Just start on the G or any other chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 All right. So again, let me do the introduction, and then I'll do verse one in the chorus, and then we'll come back next week and learn the rest, everybody. Here we go. The Lava Song. So if you don't know the story, this is a song about two volcanoes that fall in love. Yep, and lava in this song means love. Okay, so here we go. Start on G. G, two, three, four, five, six, G. And D, two, three, four, five, six, D. And C. And G, D. Here we go. A long, long time ago, there was a volcano living all alone in the middle of the sea. He seven. He sat high above his bay, watching all the couples play. And from 
So from there, we have another verse. And you do the chorus again, and then another verse, and then the chorus again, and then another verse, <laughs> and then the chorus. So it is a rather long song, but it's a great story. Um, starts out sad, but it comes out great at the end there. So that is the Lava Lava song. Again, the favorite song of all first grade students, because every time I go to a school, they said, Lava Lava, Lava. <laughs> all right, everybody. Let me play our final Aloha song, but again, it is always an honor to spend some time with all of you. We appreciate your support, and um, please join us again next week on Thursday, and we will um, again play some more music for you. All right, so let me see if um, I seem to have lost the closing slide here. <laughs> That's amazing, huh? I'm sure none of you ever lose anything. No, that's not it. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, that is the closing slide, but I still have to get it updated. Very interesting, huh? <laughs> All right, everybody. That's, here we go. kingdom of Tonga and we wish everybody a very wonderful aloha day take some aloha to the world everyone take care <laughs>